Um, the next one I'd like to discuss at the board level is Article 19, the Firefighter Safer Grant. Yep. Mm -hmm. That was, I wasn't expecting to happen what happened with this one. I mean, I guess there was some confusion as to why we're using the grant because when the grant is no longer applicable, now we will have these additional employees that we have to, you know, pay. Obviously, we'll have to pay the full salary amount. Well, originally we had talked about doing two right. things because the need is there to have right. four additional firefighters. Right. Right. So the I need mean, is there. So if if and we and I think we all agreed on that. Mm -hmm. And I think I think by applying for the safer grant doesn't mean that if we don't get it, we don't need those firefighters. We still need firefighters, right, exactly. but right. the, the, the grant the cost for three years. will actually help us reduce Same the money. cost for three years, and I think yes. that's what we, all of us are trying to do. Yeah. So I, I, I was a little baffled by the, uh, the budget committee and, the, and uh, some yes. of their, their tactics the other day. I, I, I watched it, and uh, I think, uh, I think uh, going for a grant, I think that's what we, you know, we, we're doing that to try to save the town money. Uh, but that doesn't right. under affect the, the fact that we need the four firefighters. Right. I just want, yeah, I mean, I just want to bring it back to the board. So does anyone have? Yep. Rick? I, uh, I just want to say one thing. I just said 1985. It was later than that. Oh. I was on it. Oh, okay. I want to throw that out. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Amy, on the yes, the fire department is strained to the breaking point now. We need more bodies in that department. I uh, approve this and I still strongly approve it it's a good way to save money for the public for the first three years but we need adequate personnel in the Hampton Fire Department and if you're home and your house is on fire and you want somebody to respond you better be cognizant of the need for more bodies in that department uh, I, I am a very strong proponent of this article and I hope the public uh, agrees to support their fire department well, the other, the other thing I saw on there is when they go to 10 men, what that's going to allow them to do yes. is when they have 10 men, yes. they will be able to have an ambulance at the beach fire station. Yeah. They'll be have an ambulance at the uptown fire station. Yeah. You will have two ALS ambulances in service at the town at one time. Yeah. Right now, if you do that, you have to take an engine out of service. Mm -hmm. They won't have to do that then. And you'll have not only faster service, especially at the beach. Now, I'm not saying they haven't done a great job because... On every ambulance call it's at the beach, they always send the engine. So you, you get an engine, yeah. at least you're getting people there to, to do uh -huh. the medical treatment they need. However, if you have an ambulance coming, you, the ambulance will be there that much quicker. You're also not going to have, you're going to reduce the number of engine runs at the beach because on those mm -hmm. basic ambulance calls that you have, you're not going to have to send that engine out. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it, it's, it and makes total sense. Rusty, one more thought. We respond on mutual aid to other communities, and we have response from them to help us here in Hampton, and we need to be staffed adequately to take on that responsibility. I totally agree with you, and when, when an ambulance uh, comes in from out of town, which we appreciate our, uh, our neighbors when, when they come and uh, help us when they do that. But that being said, uh, an ambulance call is a revenue maker also. Mm -hmm. And when that ambulance call is done by Northampton or Seabrook or, or Exeter or Portsmouth, whoever, mm -hmm. whoever the ambulance that we need or whoever they get here in time, yeah. that, that revenue is now goes to that community. Right. Yeah. So it could we, come back here. It, where it could come back here if, we had that, if that ambulance was done. Now, that's not saying we're not going to have to have uh, uh, mutual aid ambulances because there are many times that we have two, three, yep. four, five ambulance calls at once. Yep. And we still need that mutual aid ambulance. So... Um, you know, mutual aid works wonderful, but it would be better off, and the citizens are better off protected by our own firefighters. But this is public safety, number Ab one, Absolutely. public safety. So, anybody else on this article? 